So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just. I just. I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got. Uh! On your tail, pal. You got an informant right there who says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street, head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. Whoa, Jesus! Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Uh. Huh? <coughs> Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him.
How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> I think. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hardworking Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Bongiorno Vincenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this, then? Rennie. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick! <laughs> <laughs> If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papali? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a cracked egg. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. 
hop at this one, Papa Polly. It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Priceless. I understand no one's driving that again. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car! Knock him down, this guy. You got some kind of death wish? Hmm? Putting you down! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Just like that! Hey. I got it! Oh, I'm quick! There's gonna be more of them! Use them on top and let's see some flames! Love your work! Use the bat to finish him off! <laughs> We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. Take it. It's right oh, here, Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bull show. There's don't let him get away! Drive! Come back! Drive! What happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead, and all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. The man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. 
Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bill's still due, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. OK, boss. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Have a good day, little fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. You want to come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly? We've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, now, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here, it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we built. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. 
Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can... Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. He's here! Shouldn't... to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! on a cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody.
Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motors safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning, they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a Dane than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. <sighs> Things I've seen. Here she is. 
1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs> Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow.
So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got a moment? Oh. Sure, Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Shit! And 
Angelo there, back in the lead position. Can he hold on? Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. The leading drivers are on the final lap. Tommy, there's <laughs> our winner. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure, thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but, uh... Maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Great race, Jim. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Colettis. Well, enjoy the most. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Great run, Tommy! Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> When our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo and the chicken says quack. 
What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. <laughs> did real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. Tom, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Ah, uh, home? Brought me home? Yeah. Maybe... Maybe that... Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go... I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah? <laughs> Way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's a tough. Huh? This is a pack of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah. She's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you working at home, this is a reminder of this punk, she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Uh. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, Cake Eater. Mm. Where you going, <laughs> sweet cheeks? <laughs> Billy Trader. <laughs> just a dish, ain't you? Hey! <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> twist like you wasted on that. <laughs> Tommy! You 
son of a bitch! You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Cuz. She was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Yes, I'll go. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's going to pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies, put them in wheelchairs, bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. You.